Last week we took our students to the Carlos Museum, and I think it was, it was a great time for our kids to combine the things they've been learning in history and in art and in their, in their language arts class. I think this was a unique field trip that the Hess Academy provided to this older group of kids who were able to enjoy an exhibit for what it was. They were able to actually sit in silence in front of, of some of these uh, pieces of artwork and, and sculptures and, and monuments from, from hundreds if not thousands of years ago and actually see it for the story that it was and kind of hear the story that, that each exhibit was telling. As he sleeps, the world sighs in protest. The gentle rain of tears seeps into the beloved man, his hands laid together in eternal slumber. His greatest enemy now is time. He cannot defeat it. His arms are too heavy to lift his sword, and so he is forced to let its withered fingers claim his decaying flesh for the earth. He goes able to, to draw out some students who maybe have a hard time connecting with history or connecting uh, with language arts and see them as, as an interconnected um, thought process. We went through an exhibit of ancient African uh, tribal sculptures and theatrical garments, so they had all these masks that they would use in different performances uh, to tell the stories of, of the tribes and, and the people's history. We also looked at their um, Egyptian exhibit. Uh, we've been studying North Africa and the rise of Egyptian civilization and culture. So we got to see mummies and all of these walls of hieroglyphics and see the evolution of the culture from the earliest days to the heights of the empire. We don't uh, divide real life into to tidy subjects of, of math and science and history and, and language arts. You know, it's, the world is a mesh of all of these things. So I think if we can get them started to, to see it that way from early on, it, it would better them in the future.